Good morning, everybody. Hello. Hi. It's Professor Bromain. It's nice to see you. Uh, or it's evening or it's night. You're watching this somewhere in the world. Thanks for tuning in. Uh, so I wanted to wait a little while to make this video because there's going to be a lot of things changing. Um, and I, I sort of like prefer to report news <laughs> if I'm doing news stuff for Destiny. So as I'm sure many of you have already heard, there is a big old puzzle uh, that we're going to be heading to right now inside of the corridors of time. Uh, it is becoming very reminiscent of Niobe Labs, but, um, <laughs> but for now, uh, you know, the community's working together and, uh, it seems to be, it seems to be making progress. So, uh, if you haven't been following it, here's, here's what happened on Tuesday at Reset. Osiris showed up with, uh, with a new quest called Explore the Corridors of Time. That is here. Probably one of my uh, most favorite parts of the game. Uh, and upon entering the corridors of time, you are introduced to a seemingly endless uh, corridor <laughs> of time. Uh, however, people began discovering that if you enter or if you walk through the correct portals as if you're entering a password or following the right path through the corridors of time, uh, by following these guys, little hex symbol, little clover symbol, you know, you got a little little plus symbol. We'll kill these guys while we're talking here. Uh, you can go to a room, a room that has something very important in it that you can't touch without getting teleported away. Uh, that room would be <gasps> it's the vault of time. A time lost vault <laughs> and it might be our body in there somebody's body is in the crypt and there's a sword on top of it uh so the original assumption of the community was we needed to do this 19 different ways because there are 19 lore entries about the pigeon and the phoenix which is a great series of lore uh it is about osiris and and um saint 14 in the battle of twilight gap uh, and so it's definitely definitely some lore that I have been wanting to see in the game for a really long time. So that's been exciting. Uh, so the original assumption was you get all 19 of those and then we would figure out how to solve the puzzle. That's not the case. Uh, collecting all 19 of those showed us a pathway to get the emblem. So there's an emblem that is currently in the game now and it is it is in your inventory. If you've done this, there's a code. I believe in series, this this emblem was the 13th code that was discovered uh, via people brute forcing uh, the attempt on it. So we found that about 13 in. After seeing all 19, uh, we discovered that in the process of collecting those emblems, we were actually helping create the map that would lead us to the Engram which I think is like a 101 level of telling us how to understand uh, how to understand the time loss vault. Uh, so basically, after completing an M, uh, after completing a lore entry, you look down on the floor and uh, you look down into a reflection of the ceiling in the floor uh, <laughs> of that room. Uh, and it gives you a symbol with a whole bunch of other symbols around it, which you can essentially understand as a puzzle piece. So the community put those puzzle pieces together, those 19 pieces to create a two-stage hexagonal shape. Uh, and that contained the map to the emblem, which we already had. But when you're in the emblem room, if you look down, there is a randomized set of information that is unique to you as a guardian. That information is being compiled right now into a much larger map of the corridors of time. Um, as it stands, I don't know how many pieces of information we've collected at this point. It's it's hundreds. This is a community puzzle, which means we need everybody, uh, everybody in the community to help out. Um, there are a whole bunch of places where you can go to share your data. Um, so if you want to be part of this, solving this puzzle, helping create the giant map of the corridors of time, something that Osiris was unable to do. Uh, these are the corridors of time that Osiris sent all of his, his duplicates, all of his clones through for, you know, decades and could never find, you know, Saint-14. They could never get where they wanted to go. 
Um, and so now we are helping create this map to get where we want to go, to discover what's inside the corridors of time. Um, so you can go to the Raid Secrets su subreddit, um, <clears throat> and you can take a picture of what you've got. They have information there about where you can enter it, and it will get integrated into this much larger map and spreadsheet. Uh, ultimately, I think there's going to be a few terminal solutions for this. Something I find interesting is that the, uh, <laughs> is that the, uh, the, the shape of a hexagon is also part of our, uh, uh really normal experience as a guardian. Uh, time is multidimensional. I think it'd be really interesting if the solution were to fold together <laughs> and make some sort of engram map, uh, where we, you know, get to our, get to whatever's in the middle, you know, the big juicy prize. Uh, which could be neat. Uh, the other option is we're going to have to enter in series something that's very long, like take an incredibly long journey through the corridors of time, which in my mind opens up a lot of possibilities. Like if you have 50 or 60 entries and they all have to be hyper specific, um, it would make sense. It would make sense if we did things like you go through 30 entries and there's a mid boss and then you go through 60 and there's a final boss. Uh, there's a lot of possibilities in here for, you know, surprise. Uh, Bungie has done a fantastic job with setting this up. Uh, it is really cool to me to see something that isn't technically time gated. <laughs> um, you know, Bungie said it's a marathon, not a sprint, which probably means like you I am sure somebody could do the right combination right now by dumb accident and solve everything for everybody. I, I fully believe in that possibility. However, uh, the, the opportunity, the chance of that happening is unlikely. But the closer we get to a solution, the more likely it is that you could dumb luck your way through the holes in information, the gaps in the path um, as, you're, as you're going through the time, the corridors of time. Um, some interesting possibilities here about the corridors of time. Um, these are the same corridors that Atheon walked through. These were the things that Atheon was trying to protect us getting access to uh, all the way back in D1. This is what the back end of the Vex architecture looks like. Um, <clears throat> so it is possible through these that we might be able to access the entire universe. Uh, lore wise, story wise, I think it's really interesting that we have access to the corridors of time, that we are trying to fix the timeline because, and this is a personal feeling, after we fix the timeline, where Bungie can start over and kind of do whatever they want. They can tell if they had to change a story uh, because they needed to meet a deadline or you know the, the cadence of the game didn't fit. Uh, they can go back and do that right now. Uh, we have access to time, which means we technically have access to all of Destiny. One idea that I have been kicking around for a long time, and I'd like to thank my compatriot, Kevin. Uh, <laughs> he's KMagic101 over on Twitch. Um, who, is, who has had this idea since uh, Destiny 2 launched. Um, and wow, you could, do time, you could time walk and do old raids. It would be really, really interesting if we could time walk through here and experience old raid encounters in Destiny 2, or if it gave us access to like one raid a week. <laughs> so you could do Atheon, and then you could do Crota, and then you could do King's Fall, and then you could do, uh, and then you could do uh, uh, Wrath of the Machine, or something like that, uh, with gear exclusive stuff to drop. Now I realize that's like, probably not gonna happen. Uh, probably would have been data mined by now, but having access to time in this way allows Guardians to use it as a tool. Um, and I think that that's incredibly interesting, not only lore wise, uh, but you know, gameplay wise, the places that it can take us or take us back to without it feeling disingenuous, uh, is, is really cool. Also, it's important to note that if we successfully map the corridors of time, we continue our guardian's journey as a, 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 D, a deity among guardians, right? We've killed multiple gods. We've, we've saved the world multiple times. We've done stuff that other people deem impossible. And now, after fighting the best fights in the universe, we are solving one of the most complex problems, something that a genius warlock like Osiris has never been able to do. But we are doing it together. 
um, you know, that kind of storytelling about who our guardian is and what our guardian is capable of is really, really cool. Um, I like this this story, this individualized glorification of of how great one guardian can be or a fire team can be or a raid team can be in Destiny. Um, I think it really hits home with the way that the game, you know, has been progressing and it makes everything feel more impactful and meaningful story-wise to me. So that's what's going on in the corridors of time right now. Uh, those are the implications for lore. Those are where that's where you can go to help. And most importantly, it's where you can go to get this dope, sweet, super cool new emblem. If you're trying to access any of this stuff, I'll make sure that we have links uh, down below to the Raid Secrets Discord or not Discord, Raid Secrets uh, <laughs> subreddit. So you can go there and you can check it out. Thanks for watching today, everybody. I appreciate you. I'll catch you next time. Peace.